Greetings all, Ryan Jarrell here again. Have a Christmas holiday party to attend this weekend and uh, gotta find something to wear. In a bit of a rush, so this ensemble is not gonna take too long. I kinda have an idea of what I wanna go with, the color scheme, and things like that. So come on this journey, cause it can be real interesting. But uh, in the end, the ensemble will be perfect and fashion kinda so approved. Okay, so I have an idea of what I want to wear. It's Christmas holiday season. Uh, red's a very popular color, green. I'm not going to wear a red jacket, but I do have this nice cranberry blazer here. Uh, believe it or not, this only cost $1.75. I got it from a local thrift store here called Value Village. Uh, it's definitely a holiday season, so this definitely works for that. And um, I have a good idea of what I'm going to put with it already. So we shall see, but this is the starting piece. Get selected. Of course, I gotta wear a shirt because I can't go naked. Duh. What I do want to find is something that has pattern. I like to mix patterns a whole lot. So, checked, plaid, stripe, something of that nature. So, let me go and see what I can find. Mm. Again, it's Christmas, so red and green go together. That's not red, but it'll work. It's the green striped shirt. Let me show you the tag real quick before I tell the story. It's a Banana Republic shirt right there. I just got this shirt a couple days ago from the Salvation Army. They have a half off sale on Wednesdays. Yes, I am I go on Wednesdays because that's when they have half off. On all clothing. So the shirt was $2.99, $2.99, not $299. And it was half off. So my total came up to be with tax $1.62. So a nice Banana Republic shirt, green striped, $1.62. Can't beat that. Salvation Army. Definitely fashion kind of so approved. And of course, I preach you are not finished until you wear a pocket square. You have to have a pocket square and that's why they make the pocket. So of course I have to find a pocket square to go with the ensemble. And yes, the pocket squares are in this bag also. I should really find a better way to do this, but that's all I have, that's all I have. All right. Um, so I want something that doesn't necessarily match, but it just has to go together. It needs to flow, it needs to pop, it needs to say something on its own. Got the, see, and I like, like I said, I like to mix patterns. So I got a couple styles here. Let's try and find something with a pattern on it that uh, that will suffice. Um, all right, we can try this one right here. Or... There's another one that I saw. Ah, yes. Classic polka dot. Another, matter of fact, both of these thrift store finds. This might have been like 60, 70 cents. Same thing with this one. My favorite store, Value Village. Can't go wrong. So between these two, I think I should be able to decide something to go with the uh, cranberry sport coat here. So we'll put the rest of these away because they're not in the running tonight. got the top half taken care of. I think I'm just gonna go simple with the pants. Just a nice black dress pant, uh, flat front pants. Um, let's hope they're clean. <laughs> just kidding, it's dry cleaned. All right, yeah, here we are. Perfect, just a black pant. Lay these out. And then the finishing touch, the shoe. I picked these shoes up from DC at a nice boutique and uh, let's just say you'll appreciate them once you see them. They're actually sitting right here. And this my friend is the shoe for the evening. It's a classic spectator shoe. A two-tone shoe, wing tip. They used to wear these back in the 30s, 40s, 50s, um, Cab Calloway, any of the old people that could really really had style in Hollywood they had a pair of spectators. So this is a classic pair of shoe. It's gonna finish off the ensemble. And once I put it all together, I come back and show you. And uh, you'll see what it looks like. Well, here you have it, the finish. You saw how the process began. You saw how it all started from the blazer down to the shoes. 
Well, this is what we came with for the ensemble for the Christmas holiday party. Stuck with the $1.75 Cranberry Velvet Blazer. Then we have the 70 cent polka dot pocket square. If you notice, the shirt is different. I actually went with a white shirt with black stripe as opposed to the green stripe one. I wanted to keep it a little more traditional, but still give it the Ryan Joel touch. And this, the velvet bow tie that was made from the $4 fabric that I also got from Value Village. Pants, they come from a suit. Please feel free to break up your suit. You don't have to wear your black suit together the entire time. These black pants came from a suit. Break it up, add it with something else, and you got a whole other ensemble. Of course, I have the classic black and white Oxfords, also known as Spectators On. And let me show you one last thing here. The sock. And this is truly a Ryan Jarrell touch. Um, I don't own a pair of plain black socks or plain brown socks, because I'm not a plain person. So the socks give it a nice touch, and it's something that I like to do just for me. Sometimes they match, sometimes they don't, but hey, sock. The whole ensemble, about a hundred dollars if you include the shoes. Minus the shoes, you're looking at about 15, 20 bucks right here. I said it before and I can say it again. Whether you have ten dollars or a thousand dollars, you can come with a wonderful ensemble and even at thrift stores. So this ensemble right here, fashion kind of still approved. Till the next time, ciao.